Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is the next Sudoku problem in my Sudoku problem series. Um, this is a modular lines and killer problem um, submitted by Rock Rat Zero. Um, so uh, normal Sudoku rules apply, of course, in this one, and the goal is to place the digits in the X. Um, you will uh, find a link to this problem below if you wish to attempt this one yourself. Um, killer cages, digits um, uh, must placed in the cells in the cage must sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage. Digits cannot repeat within cages. And along modulo lines, um, the digits that are placed on the lines, um, each set of three uh, sequence of three sequential cells will contain a complete set of resides modulo three. Now that may not make sense, but it basically means one of the numbers, if you divide by three, will have a remainder of one, one will have a remainder of two, and one will have a remainder of zero. That may sound really confusing. It's worth remembering that, but what it basically means is one will be from 147, one will be from 258, and one will be from 369. And if you look at your um, numeric keypad, um, then or the one on the um, Sven Sudoku pad, it basically you're using the vertical bands of lines, 147, 258, 369. Um, and along any three cells, you must use one of each of those digits. Um, one of 147, one of 258, one of 369. So have a look at this problem, um, see if you can figure it out, and I'll be back in a few seconds to explain it. Okay, so um, each of these boxes can pretty much be done independently. I'm going to start in box five because that's where normally the stuff is. So in a 15 cage, um, you, this can either be a 6, 9 or a 7, 8, but there's a 7 looking at it. So this has to be a 6, 9. Now, a 6, 9 are from the same um, modulo set. So um, they are from the 3, 6, 9 set. So I've used two of the 3, 6, 9 set. This digit and this digit are three apart on the modular line. And because these three cells will have the same, will be a set of the same, uh, of, uh, a set of modulos, um, and this will be a set, these two have to be the same, because this will be A, B, and C, and this will be B, C, and therefore have to include A. So these will be the same, and these two will be the same, which means this has to be from the same set as this, because otherwise, if one of this is from the same set as this, then I'll have four of the same set. If this is from the same set as this, then I'll have the four set, and I must have something from this set in here. So this is the only thing that is from it got a single thing to give, and I've already used two of... Um, um, the 369. So this has to be the 3. And up here I've got the same issue. This and this are from the same set of digits. This and this are from the same set of digits. But I've already used the 1 and the 7. So the only thing where I can contribute um, two, oh, I can't contribute two numbers from 147. So this has to be the 4 and that solves this problem. Um, I probably did the hard one first but I'm used to starting in box 5 on the problems. But they can be solved independently. Um, so there's a couple of interesting tricks there about if um, the important one in this one is of course understanding how entropic lines work can be a little bit tricky for people as well as um, understanding when you've got a couple of digits eliminated from a set, then um, when you must put two um, options from a set in there, um, then you've you've got the, the forcing just explained. Hopefully that one was fun for people. Um, didn't do a great job of explaining it, sorry, but hopefully you got it. Um, thanks everyone for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series. And as always, good luck with your solving.